Halo guys, kembali lagi bersama gue Mue. Jadi uh, kali ini gue pengen lanjutin lagi world tour gue. Kayaknya ini udah sampai di nomor 20 Udah jauh ya kita main game. Oke, langsung saja. Langsung to the point, udah main story guys. Kita nih Dutch. Arthur. Well now, you sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. You okay? Hey, Brenton! Charles! <laughs> I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Oh, never again. Assalamualaikum Someone got here first So it seems What do you think? Things, it wasn't a social call Check the house There's some blood here Thank you. Found anything? Hehehehe. Kamu salah lewat eh, bangke. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Look. Tracks. Come on. Come on. Before they get too far ahead. This food barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Idiot. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking? Days. All right. Uh -huh. Yes. Hmm. Well. Lead the way then. I think the tracks lead this way. Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight? 
I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. With your sense. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Yeah! You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. Look out! I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line.
That must be it. Easy. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be... Sons of bitch. Quick, find them. They're trying to hide in the fields. Stop! Look at the birds. Go that way. I will find you, bastards. Mana sedih. Dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Come on, I see me. He's mine. Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Where's your yeah. money? Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Gunshots are coming from that farm. Come on. Oh my God. Oh. He's backing off inside. Get after him. for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. So I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? You're too far ahead. 
You okay? <laughs> Never finer. So, who was they? Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. and must left to my self-respect. I have a catalog, too. Up here. Now, let's have a look. Come on, now. I ain't asking for much. Just enough to eat. Oh, come on. Come on. Ain't none of you neighborly in the least. Uh, this here store's my whole life. That's why I drink. Hey, I thought we was all about hospitality in the South. <laughs> here. It seems to me ever since them grays turned up. It's time to get no soul no more. Fine. Yep. All right. Okay. Lose the war, <laughs> but, but ain't none of you fought, you pathetic bastards. Well, well, I ain't afraid of you, old Mr. Gray. You are your damn pathetic bastard sons. Yeah, cause y'all, y'all boys prove yourself to be yellow. Yeah, you're bullies, but not fighters. You should have started a store, roughneck. This is a real adventure. Something to eat. One of you. Oh, you mean bastards, a whole bunch of you. Can I get some money, please? What's caught your eye? Yours. Seen what you're after? Unless you own the place. That's why you're all still alive. Uh, it's all good. All of it. Okay, guys. Biar. Apa ya? Biar nggak lama ini video. Jadi gue beli dulu. Apa yang gue pengen beli. Terus ntar gue langsung kata aja. Jadi gue skip. Okay.
alright guys gue udah gue udah beli semua jadi Gak lama sih gue belinya mungkin sekitar 10 menit lah daripada gue rekam ya kan gak mantap cuy kan gini semangat kita main Wah, wah dikerjain gua. like you boys had some trouble <sighs> yeah we had some trouble bad trouble what you want oh I was supposed to meet some business partners here they arranged a meeting I believe fellow with a scar and a Mexican yes sir how about the stables I think thank you and uh sorry for your troubles friend come on girl turn up in town you're helping everybody and there's troubles everywhere and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had go to the stables on the south side of the manor okay john go 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 i'm coming huh? Watch. Why are you riding like that? <laughs> Crazy old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand. Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Ooh. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. 
But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on out to the stables. Someone will come see you. Ah! and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. <laughs> All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Head around the front. Hitch up there. Uh, hey, control that horse. All right, let's hitch up here. Yeah. Easy. Let me do the talking. Hello, fella. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Okay. Uh-huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. <laughs> Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Easy now. Marshal, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. OK. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. You're okay, boy. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Oh. 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 Look out ahead! They're coming out of the fields! Any more? No. Don't 
think so. Well, you okay there, boy? Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! I'll get him! Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for believe the yarn spun us by one of that gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich <sighs> at the end of it we felt like prize idiots Ah, yeah, Jim. Ini lah, sudah. Gue dah sampai berapa nih? Capek gue. Wo, dua puluh lima persen mampus. Alright, guys. Kayaknya itu dulu untuk hari ini. Terima kasih telah menonton. See ya.